Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is simplifying a complex fraction. So if you would, pause the video and see if you can try this one on your own. All right, there's actually two different methods to uh, simplifying a complex fraction. So in this video, I'll show you one, and then in another video, I'll show you the other method. In this video, I'll show you the method that I prefer. Look at all the fractions and look at all the denominators and ask yourself, okay, what is the LCD? This is one over X squared. This is one over X, one over X, one over two. And then ask yourself, okay, what is the LCD of all the fractions? And what is it? Yeah, it's two X squared. So multiply the top and the bottom by 2x squared. When you do that, everything's going to cancel out. That's the beauty of this method. So you're going to have 2x squared over x squared minus 2x squared over x. And then in the denominator of the larger fraction, you have 2x squared over x plus 2x squared over 2. Now notice, a lot of things are going to cancel out. Uh, those x squares are going to cancel out, and x is going to cancel out there, x is going to cancel out there, the 2's cancel out there. So you're left with, in the top, in the numerator, you have uh, 2 minus 2x over 2x plus x squared. 2x plus x squared. Now, just in case, you always want to factor. So here it's GCF, there's a GCF of 2, so you're left with 1 minus x in those parentheses. Here, your GCF, or yeah, your GCF is x, so that would be 2 plus x. Notice that nothing cancels out. So you can either leave your answer if the teacher wants it in factored form this way, or you can just leave it as this. And that's it.